it finally has it, Android Auto. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the refreshed 2020 Lexus RX 450h F Sport. I realize that this shouldn't be a big deal, but in 2020, if you don't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard, it is, especially for a luxury company. Checking off another box is this refreshed 2020 Atomic Silver Lexus RX 450h. The H means it's a hybrid, and the F Sport means it looks sportier with standard features that include LED daytime running lights, LED tail lamps and illuminated door handles, all-wheel drive, tire-specific pressure monitoring system, and power back door. Inside, you'll find power front seats, dual auto zone climate control, power tilt and telescopic steering column, reclining sliding 40-20-40 split rear seat, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link and compass, first aid kit, drive mode select, carpet floor mats, 4.2 inch color multi-information display, Lexus Inform Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Sirius XM with three month trial, and keyless entry, with push button start. Safety features include Lexus Inform Safety Connect as well as Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0 that consists of lane tracing assist, road sign assist, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, and intelligent high beam headlamps. The F-Sport Performance Package adds 20-inch alloy wheels, F-Sport steering wheel and shift knob, badges, bumpers, grille, seats, and scuff plates, LED ambient illumination, aluminum trim, front and rear performance dampers, driver's seat, wheel, and outer mirror memory, power folding outside mirrors, stainless steel rear door garnish, adaptive variable suspension, sport steering, heated and ventilated front seats, and heated steering wheel. Now for the options that include triple beam LED headlamps and cornering lamps, 12.3 inch navigation system with 12 speaker premium audio, color heads up display, touch free power rear door with kick sensor, blind spot monitor with intuitive parking assist, front LED turn signals and fog lamps, panoramic view monitor, and rear cross traffic braking. Total MSRP is $60,970. The Lexus Signature Grille has been a take it or leave it design feature for many years now. And while some people don't care for it, I don't mind it. The shock absorbers and roll bars have been retuned to reduce body roll, improve steering response, and provide a smoother ride. With the cargo shade out of the way, the RX can accommodate 18.4 cubic feet worth of luggage. And when the 40-20-40 split folding rear seats are stowed, you get a total of 55.9 cubic feet. A compact spare resides under the floor as well. Running this RX is the Lexus Hybrid Drive System that pairs a 3.5 liter direct injected V6 engine with two high torque electric drive motor generators that drive the front wheels. Together they provide 308 combined system horsepower. Because this car is all wheel drive, a rear motor generator powers the rear wheels and everything is transferred via an electronically controlled continuously variable transmission. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 31 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 30 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw 28.9 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. The back seat of this RX is very well done, with plenty of leg, head, and shoulder room. 
I like the silver trim around the metal speaker grills, and these seats have really good lumbar support. They can manually adjust forward and backward and have a wonderful angle for comfort, which can be reclined a bit more if you like. Similar to back there, the front seats are very comfortable with even more bolstering for support. Lexus has always been good about covering hard stuff with soft, and this RX is no different. Yeah, the matte silver, black, and red works, but none of that is new. What is new is this 12.3 inch display. No, the cameras aren't any clearer, but the display's resolution is. Plus, as mentioned earlier, Android Auto is finally present, and it works fantastic. Better late than never. So now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. Many people believe that the F-Sport trim is a performance package. It's not. It's primarily aesthetics with some suspension tweaks. So let's get one thing clear. F-Sport or not, the RX is not a performance crossover. Its chassis was never designed to be, so as long as you understand that, you won't be disappointed. I appreciate the suspension and steering upgrades that were made because any improvements are good. But without driving this back to back with last year's RX, I don't notice it. Active corner braking supposedly prevents understeer by braking the inner wheel. But I'll be honest, this is an RX, so I have no interest in pushing it that hard to find out. The gas engine can sound a bit coarse when accelerating, but power is decent, and the hybrid unit doesn't distract when switching between gas and electric systems. The brakes are responsive with a strong initial bite, and visibility is pretty good too. I mean, this RX is very comfortable, and it's quiet too when it's in EV mode. As with all F-Sport models, you can adjust throttle parameters and suspension with drive mode select. But again, that won't make this into a performance vehicle. It just allows you to tweak what was already a pleasant driving vehicle. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is you don't consider buying this RX 450H F-Sport because you think it's a sporty crossover. You buy it simply because it's a really good vehicle. And like I said before, as long as you understand that, you won't be disappointed. So there you have it guys, the 2020 Lexus RX 450H F Sport. If you're looking for a true performance crossover, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a stylish crossover that's spacious, comfortable, reliable, drives well, and gets good fuel economy, <laughs> here you go. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you think the Lexus grill is due for a redesign or if it's fine just the way it is in the comment section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.